everybody, we're going to be talking about if these fragrances are overrated. So let's grab Black Opium. This is the extreme, but basically the original, the intense, all the flankers. This will represent all of them. Um, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Blue de Chanel is a big one. Dior Sauvage. I don't have that in my collection anymore because I gave that to my homie. That was a gift from one of my followers. We'll do... Light Blue Intense by Dolce Gabbana, and lastly, Le Nuit de Lome by YSL, right? So let me just hold on to Blue de Chanel right now. To me, this fragrance isn't overrated. Do I think it's overworn? In a sense, yes. To me, Blue de Chanel, just because of my personal experience with it, I smell it on almost every Filipino Tito ever. And Tito means uncle. So to me, this is an uncle fragrance. When I smell it, it's automatically not attractive because of the type of people I associate it with. Now, am I saying this is a bad fragrance? Absolutely not. This is extremely mass appealing. It's very simple, very versatile. It's a fresh fragrance that you can wear anywhere. And it's a, it's a grapefruit scent, you know? But there's a reason this is very popular and sold a lot. And I think that people need to know the difference between something being popular versus overrated. If I were to say this fragrance was overrated, then that would mean that I don't think, I don't think that it's worthy of all like the acclaim and the popularity that it gets, that it doesn't live up to that kind of standard. In my opinion, it totally does. You know, usually when people smell this, they're like, oh yeah, that's a nice scent. So Blue de Chanel to me, not overrated. With Dior Sauvage, Dior Sauvage is a fragrance that I smell even more than Blue de Chanel. And I have smelled that on guys of all ages. And I can tell you, there's three guys in my mind right now that I know that rock it as their signature scent. So when I was in college, I always smelt it on guys passing by, even at bars, clubs, um, on Friends, it was just, like, even till this day, it's such a popular scent. Now, I will say that I am talking from my experience, at least in the area that I'm in. If you're in Latin America and some Asian countries, the fragrances that I might have mentioned might not be that popular, okay? So just take this as you will. Don't think that this is general for all over the world, okay? But with Dior Sauvage... The reason why I don't recommend it on my page isn't because I don't like it, but because to me, it's extremely overworn and saturated in the area that I'm in. Now, even I'll get comments from girls specifically that actually DM me on Instagram and they're like, this is a verbatim comment I received. This girl was like, if I see, or she said something like, she was like, thank you for recommending other masculine colognes because if I smelled your Sauvage on another guy, I'm going to vomit. That's what she said. Another comment said, do men know that there's other fragrances besides your Sauvage? Holy fuck. That was another comment I received. And another one is, why does every guy smell like my dad with Sauvage? So needless to say, to me, your Sauvage is in that ex-boyfriend category. It can just... Pretty much picture this in your head, right? You're going on a date with a girl, you're wearing Dior Sauvage, but the likelihood of her smelling that fragrance on her father, her ex-boyfriend, her brother, or her cousin is higher than a lot of other fragrances. Now, if you're someone that doesn't care about that and you like the scent, totally go for it, wear it, because there are a lot of pros with the fragrance. For example, it's a nice smell. Fresh and clean, simple, right? But it's also long lasting. It also projects very decently and it has a nice scent trail. So it's not a fragrance you have to worry about where you're like, am I getting my money's worth? It's been four hours and I no longer smell it. That thing, I'm talking about the EDP because that's the one I have more experience with, will last you a long time. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, I've become desensitized to that fragrance where it's not a sexy scent to me either. It's just like, okay, that's your Sauvage because of how many people I've smelled that fragrance on. But if you want to try it and you're new to fragrances, both the ones I mentioned, of course, I would, I would lean more towards blue if you wanted to, but you can totally get either of those two. Uh, people are going to dog on you for it, but if that's what you really want, if you want a safe, safe choice that's not daring whatsoever, you just want the safest, 
thing, those two will not give you a problem in that regard. Now, with Good Girl and Black Opium, to me, these are still extremely attractive. And for somebody like myself that has smelled other fragrances, um, both feminine and masculine to me, even though these are standard designer scents, they're still really sexy in my opinion. Like these fragrances, wear them to a party and like you'll just, you'll see exactly what I mean. I received a DM from this girl that said she wore this at a party and she got railed. So I was like, all right, you do you. But thank you for being totally honest for me in my DMs and giving me feedback on the fragrances you buy from my recommendations. But to me, both of these long lasting fragrances, this is more on the fresh side, even though it can turn sweet. Um, but Black Opium, I don't smell too much in the area I'm in because we're more of a warmer climate. But I'm assuming like in Seattle, Ohio, like Missouri, a lot of people like to rock this fragrance, so it wouldn't be too big of a surprise. But yeah, the critique from women about these are that they're too basic. And again, like I said in the beginning, there's a difference between basic and popular. Don't get them mixed up thinking, okay, this is a popular scent, therefore it's basic, therefore it's not worth it. Because I guarantee you, all the fragrances I've mentioned to you complement monsters overall, okay? Even the Sauvage, the Blue, the Le Nuit de Lomme, these two, and Light Blue Intense. Now, with Light Blue, not with Light Blue Intense, my bad, with Le Nuit de Lomme, this fragrance I don't feel is as popular as Bleu de Chanel and Dior Sauvage because when I've mentioned it to people that I'm encountering in the real world, they're like, what? When I say, have you smelled Le Nuit de Lomme? They're like, what is that? Versus when I say, oh yeah, that fragrance Bleu de Chanel or Dior Sauvage, they're like, oh yeah, I know what that is because those are probably the most two common fragrances that guys buy at Macy's or at any mall. When they go to a mall, they're like, I want that one, and they'll walk away with one of those two. Um, but Le Nuit de Lomme, very popular in the fragrance community, but out there, not as popular. Now, the downside with this fragrance, of course, is the performance. So do I think that this is an overrated fragrance? Not at all. This actually blew my mind with the reactions I was receiving. The first time I wore this, or even... Like this being my first sig signature scent that I chose, every single time I would wear it, the reactions were always feral. It was always just like sexy beyond belief. And I was like, wow, I didn't know a fragrance can make people react that way around me, you know? So that was an eye opener. And for that reason, because of Eep, like with my personal bias and experience with this fragrance, I don't find it to be overrated because this shit has proven when I have worn it, that it puts in work and people cannot get enough of it. Yeah, performance sucks though, so definitely overspray this fragrance. And lastly, light blue intense. So basically what you're understanding from this whole entire video is that these scents to me are not overrated. These have not underwhelmed me, if that makes sense, okay? It wasn't like, oh, I've heard so many great things about this and it fell flat. I understood why they were really popular. And same goes for this fragrance. It's still my favorite summertime fragrance in the standard designer realm um, for, for feminine scents, but this one is definitely more unisex than feminine. But yeah, that's what I have to say about it. I know everybody has their own different opinions, but this video was mainly for people that are beginning their fragrance journeys, not for people that have collections already with niche and they have like, you know, their noses have developed to like more artistic, bold, daring choices, all right? This is not for people that have big collections and even collections over three fragrances. This is not for those people. This is for people looking where to start and are hearing bad things about, oh, this is popular, so I shouldn't get it. The fragrance community, what people say in there, very different from the reactions and the kind of comments you'll receive in the real world because a lot of people are not watching fragrance videos, so their noses are very simple. And when you get an inoffensive fragrance, I promise you for the most part, you'll be solid. But anyways, I hope this helped. But if it helps even more, I'll put the names of the fragrances and the links for the discount sites in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.